Hey folks, this is Justin from the Leonidas Knives and Gear channel. Uh, just a quick upload here about a tomahawk setup on the back of my plate carrier. I've been working with some various tomahawks uh, recently, and I just added this is the CRKT Chogan T-Hawk to the back of my plate carrier. Now before I go any further, the reason is on the back. Uh, this is not set up so that I can retrieve it uh, easily. I just kind of wanted it out of the way. It's a pretty decent sized tomahawk, and even with a lot of real estate on a plate carrier, I just didn't really want it in my way, and I put it on the back so a friend or a buddy could retrieve it uh, either for me or if they need to use it, so that's just how I've got it set up. Uh, for some reason, uh, folks out there uh, get confused about that. Um, yeah, it's just something that people do sometimes with, with uh, you know, real estate on plate carriers. But I also found out from my friend Adrian that this Tomahawk has been discontinued. I'm sure you could probably find it out there either secondhand or maybe from uh, some major retailers out there. But it's been pretty good to me. I do have a full review out there uh, somewhere on the channel as well. But uh, this video I'm focusing on, actually this little strap here, when I attached uh, the Tomahawk sheath, uh, to the back of the carrier and the PALS webbing, uh, I've got a tech lock that I bolted on there. And that worked really well. The only problem was the handle was sort of flopping all around all over the place. And um, I was, was talking with Adrian and we uh, he mentioned shock cord, uh, but then I finally opted for uh, a, basically just a webbing strap uh, with some hook and loop, real simple. And you can see that, that definitely <laughs> moves around quite a bit without that strap. Uh, it's a really simple little system. I'll actually go ahead and um, just remove it real quickly. There's the tomahawk. Really nice, very functional, versatile, tactical, bushcraft style tomahawk. And just this little strap system here in the PALS webbing. Really simple but effective. Basically, it's just two straps of webbing. Uh, one runs through uh, the PALS webbing and the other attaches the handle. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this yet. It's a sort of like a tool handle, um, PALS, Molly a adapter, um, you know, catch, something like that to grab it so the handle, you know, doesn't slide everywhere. But again, it's, it's very simple. Just slide it back through both sides of the webbing. And then it attaches with hook and loop. Again, originally I designed it without that that Velcro, and that did not work out. Um, this locks in very tightly to the webbing, and then you replace your tool, in this case, the tomahawk, you know, could be something like an ax handle, maybe even a machete blade, uh, or a machete sheath, or a large knife, or something like that, or a shovel, shovel handles, and then you just wrap it back up with that nylon webbing, locks up with the hook and loop, and you're good to go. Pretty effective little system. Again, not sure what I'm gonna call it, but it's something that I could have available uh, on my Etsy store. I've got all sorts of different camouflage webbings. I know right now I've got, uh, this is Multicam. I've got Multicam Black. Uh, I've got some Cryptek, um, uh, Rail Moab, for example, all sorts of stuff. So there you have it, folks. Uh, pretty good setup. Thanks for your time.